All right, how's everyone doing? So I know it's a little uh, small break issue last week with my, uh, you know, it was everything combined. Truck was doing most of the work. Notice a lot of dust on the truck's rims, brake dust. And so I uh, figured I'd get back here and look at these brakes. Pads, what I'm seeing, the shoes, they're looking pretty good. So I don't figure the brake issue other than adjustments. And you can see the pad in there. Pads look good, they look thick, they look small. Kind of see them right there. They got a lot of shoe to them. So. What you gonna do to adjust them and also spin these tires? I mean, these things spin freely. They shouldn't spin that easy. You gotta keep going and going and going. So you need to pop these caps off. So while you're under here, just inspect everything. You know, I got I got to lift it up. You know, it's not too far. I got a block under that wheel. Also, inspect your U-bolts. Inspect those nuts. Just look this thing over. These things get abused. A lot of weight. Piles, especially in Indiana. Indiana, what is going on? with your roads. So let's see if we can put this down while I work those out. Since I got these two hands. Star adjuster. I like the stubbies. Fits in there nicely. On that star adjuster, all right. Oh, yeah. yeah, you don't have to take the tires off. You don't have to take the drums off. Find that star adjuster and just work it up. If you work it the other way, the there's a stopper in there, so it's going to stop you from going the other way. So spin them as you're doing that. You're going to start hearing some resistance. Yeah, I worked on cars for a long time, vehicles, back when drum brakes were more used on rear brakes, and we'd adjust these all the time. we adjust them so, you know, about one spin of the tire is all you wanted, just a nice spin, and do a 360. It's not the same for these, these, you just want a little resistance on them, like that. You hear that resistance? That's all we're looking for here. Replace these caps. Always replace those caps. I know these are kind of open. You still get moisture in them, but the less chance of moisture in them, the better. That's why we replace those. And just move on to all four tires. I was able to find an old star adjuster. This thing's rusted, but kind of the point. Same thing's going on inside those brakes. You know, when you're grabbing the, um, you got the screwdriver in there, you're working it, you're spinning this, and this one's, you know, it's rusted. It won't move. 
but that's pushing out. It's making this longer, it's pushing those shoes out, it's pushing those shoes, you know, the shoes are going that way, it's pushing against that drum. Um, they do automatically adjust, they're supposed to. I just think on these trailers, you get work so hard and so fast, they're just, they're not adjusting as fast. Um, that's why these things need to be done every so often. Probably about every 10,000 miles, I would guess. Um, all you're doing is turn that a, I don't even think I turned it a full turn, probably a half turn, just enough to push those shoes out. Um, and there is a rod that comes like right here that prevents it from going backwards. So this, you know, they're, if you're twisting those and it's, it's pushing those shoes out, it's as simple as that and that's what you're doing. Taking that screwdriver, you're getting it on those little teeth and adjusting it. You're just turning those things.